show we are doing kind of like all about our chuck truck or our mobile kitchen um, what we take with us when we go camping um, so we're kind of going to show you how we made it because we made it ourselves and then give you a little tour of how everything's laid out and how it works for us all right so we've mocked up our design for the chuck trunk in cardboard boxes just to see how we're gonna lay everything out and make sure everything fits so these are the doors and then this is the main section we've got storage for like pots and pans and utensils and plateware and stuff like that so yeah all right so the first step in constructing the truck trunk was to construct like the outer box shape so like the main structure we just used some pocket hole screws to do that all together then we were picking out how we wanted to do the inside shells um, so we decided to do one main one in the middle for our pots and pans and then two little ones on the sides and then have a little platform above that so that's just what we're measuring out here and then we're putting it all together um, I'm gonna apologize <laughs> beforehand we didn't plan on making this video so we didn't get that good of video of the actual process but I'm going to do my best to try and explain it to you guys um, so we're just drilling holes so that we can connect those three pieces and then we're putting on these little side gates for they're gonna act as like the supports for the drawer that we're putting in so basically this whole structure you see us putting together now is going to slide into the middle and be like the main shelving unit inside of the trunk and then we just moved on to constructing the doors, which were pretty easy. They were just a frame with um, some plywood on the front. So basically this, this project is made of mostly plywood and then some 1x4s and 1x3s and 2x4s. <laughs> basically what, we used a lot of scraps though, so whatever we had around, we tried to like keep the cost low. So if we had some extra scraps around, we glued them together, sanded them down, made it work, that kind of thing. So here's just us constructing the doors, which were pretty easy to do. Sorry we didn't get better video, but you can see underneath this frame is the plywood that we're going to put on the front to make the front of the door. This next clip is us doing uh, what I was saying earlier, like kind of salvaging any pieces we had. This was actually a trim off the shed that we did earlier this year, um, and we just sanded it down and we used it. The next step was to construct the drawers, so we did this by cutting a dado into our different drawer pieces. So that is what we're doing here. We just had the blade set a little lower, so it only takes out part of the width of the wood. And that would leave us with a slot there where we can slide a thin piece of plywood into to create the base of the drawer. Then of course we just sand it all down and then I cut the face of the drawer. We didn't want to put like a handle on it so we just cut a groove that was kind of like hand shaped. So we just took the jigsaw and we did that. It was a little bit of a struggle and um, it wasn't the cleanest cut on my part but it turned out pretty good once we sanded it all down. And then the last thing was just to put like the pieces of the puzzles together. So put the back and the sides on and slide in that slot to make the base of the drawer and we just did this for both of the drawers but this is the tall drawer next was just to paint everything like obviously there was more <laughs> there's more steps we just didn't get video of them but basically it was just creating the flaps and attaching the doors with the hinges so we just used piano hinges for the doors and normal hinges for the two flaps we just cut a hole out of one of the flaps for the sink basin and one for the faucet. Then we just took some 2x4s and screwed together a nice little structure for the base. And that was pretty much it. Okay, so first things first is how you set up the kitchen. So the chuck trunk um closes up like this the doors are in the front we have side panels on the side and this down here is its base you when we store it and like move it we flip the base upside down and the this piece goes inside of it um i would show you that but it's literally just me and this thing's so heavy that i can't do it on my own then you just open up the flaps on the side to open up the doors if that makes sense Okay, 
Okay, so this is kind of like an overview of everything. Um, on the left side, you have kind of like our storage of spices and oils and stuff. And then in the middle, you have the chunk of like storage of all our um, pans and bowls and plates. And then on the right is, in the other door, is the towels and like sprays and foils and stuff like that. Okay, so right here, as I said earlier, we have just our different spices. Usually we have a couple more, but um, Nick took some of them to his apartment at school, actually. Um, and then we've got like our oils and stuff like, like miscellaneous, use some extra washing pads and stuff. I think one thing we're going to do is like put a little bungee or something there. Um, just make sure we keep all those things there. Usually when we're transporting, we'll take them out and put them in these compartments. Just because like these two oils are glass containers and we're a little concerned about that. Alright, and then if you move on to the inside section, we have our drawer up here. I'm just going to take it out because that'll be easier to show you. So we've got like our different utensils in the back, um, some extra like washcloths, some measuring cups, stuff like that, and that just slides in and out right there, um, which is really awesome. We cut these hand grabs in them, they're easy to get to. Underneath it we have first our mirror, which we put up here for getting ready in the morning, stuff like that. Um, We've got one of our big bowls, and then you'll see back here we've got all of our kind of big plates and bowls and stuff, and cutting board. Down in this groove here, right now we just store our cups in there. Um, in this middle section, this was we kind of built the whole trunk around these right here, which are our cast irons, which add a lot of weight, but it's worth it. You know, that's what you do when you're camping. Um, so we've got the little baby one and some, we use the pot holders to stop them from clanging around and then it's also like good storage because we'll need them anyways. So we've got the big one, this one we do like our pastas in and then the bottom one, anything else that we need. Down next to it you've got our second drawer of the thing, which is all of our cooking utensils, not like eating utensils, but cooking ones. So like a slotted spoon for pasta, some tongs for chicken, um, a little scrubby brush, anything like that. So we specifically built this one because it's long enough to fit all of those things that you might have. Um, they're kind of like longer, like tongs or long spoons. Usually we just keep a, a roll of paper towels in here as well. And then you kind of have our dish situation, which has our mittens and some utensils that were dry that we never put away um, in here. But basically we do our dishes, we'll use a little soapy brush and soap, and then we put them in here and they dry. So this is like really good to have, and then we have the tub underneath it to catch anything that's dripping off. Um, and that's just like makes it convenient for you. Because one of the most inconvenient things when you're camping is like cleaning up after the food that you've cooked. Um, it's usually like the water or sink situation is not the best. So that's some, a way that we're making it easier for ourselves. Over here we have a little tiny towel rack. I would open this door further but there's um, something in the way. <laughs> and then underneath we've got storage for like trash bags, Reynolds wrap different like sprays like our seasoning spray for our cast iron and stuff like that all right one last thing i did want to make sure i showed you is how like the top works so if you flip the flaps up you pretty much more than double your space that you had originally which is really awesome because getting like space to work when you're camping is tough like you work on the tailgate but other than that like or picnic table you don't really have much space so this is really helpful we put our camp stove here. We just have a two burner Coleman stove. It goes right here. We kind of have this one open for whatever we need. And then this one, as you'll see, there's a hole cut out here. That's because we have like a little tub that we use as a sink. It just drops in right here. And then this hole is for our pump faucet. If you saw our video, I, I'm pretty sure we included it in there. So right there is the hole. You put the pump 
for the sink in there a tube runs down into a we have a home depot like five gallon bucket and you can just pump water um, that way so it's really nice to have some sort of like hand washing station or like teeth brushing station um, just so you don't have to go like if you're in a if you're at a campsite all the way to the bathrooms or whatever it may be um, so that's something that's really nice Basically, this has worked really well for us, and the design's pretty sweet. You get a lot of comments on it. Um, if you're at campsites, a lot of people were asking us about it and wanted one for themselves. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video, and maybe it inspired you to make your own chug trunk. Um, like, Nick and I don't have that much experience with carpentry, but with a little help from my awesome mom, we were able to put this together pretty easily, um, probably like 10 hours of work maybe, I'm not sure. It's really awesome for if you go camping, It's really it makes it a lot more convenient to cook your food. If you saw our first camping video compared to like our second one, the food situation in the first one was a lot worse. Then we got this and it made it a lot smoother sailing for us when we were about to cook our meal. So if you like this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe really supports our channel and stick around next week uh, because we post videos every Monday at 11 a.m. Bye!